Well, top to the morning to you everyone. What's up? Well, today's video is going to be a new feeding video, Tarantula Feeding Video 66. And I hope you're all excited. A lot of people have asked me to do one, so it's been about 12 days since they last fed the teas, so I think they're hungry and we'll see what we have. We got some new teas and uh, yeah, that would be cool. So the only ones we're not going to feed is the N. Chromatis because uh, she's in pre molt so I guess I'll update her to see how well uh, she's in her molt cycle. And the new uh, Haplopalma that I got, I just want to give it a couple of days to relax and to acclimate to its new surroundings before I offer food to them. Well, I can't say I'm not in a very good mood. <sighs> We're getting another snowstorm and it's like what, the third day of spring? I just started the lawn boy there a couple of days ago and have to see this stuff. I know it really upsets me because I want to take out my car in two weeks and unfortunately that won't be happening because if it snows this much here it's at least five times of where the car is at. Alright so I'm going to start off with the Cantuscoria geniculata, the Brazilian giant white knee. My Uncle Hersey wouldn't eat in front of the camera, which was actually pretty strange, because Kathy's Gurries are really great eaters. So, here's Derek. Uh, two and a half inch male. And see what happens. <laughs> nice. Oh, look at that too. My uh, Pocletheria smithy is getting larger now. Well, we're going to feed her soon. Alright, let's go through some more. Alright, let's try Lita. She is a Vicleria Viclar female. Oh, that was just... There we go. Oh, she grabbed that one instantly. Yeah, she's a good fat old girl. Uh, m fully mature. <laughs> she's just so fat she kind of looks like she's gravid, but she's not. I haven't mated her yet. Uh, just, hopefully I'm going to try to find a male. I'm just going to wait for her to molt and uh, see if I can raise some Avic Avix. Yeah, it's too bad that my last sling passed away, but um, yeah, she's pretty cool. Good for beginners too. And that's why they call him the pink toe. All right, let's try an Avic Leda. This is the Puerto Rican pink toe, Molly. <laughs> yeah, look how big they got. You know, in my opinion, these are probably one of the best Avix to raise as their slings. I had so many problems raising Metallica, Avic, and A-Diversity Peeps, and uh, I had them over a year, and they're just doing miraculously well. Oh, another busy Weber of mine. So, this is a Avic Urticans, the giant Peru pink toe cat. She's a six-inch female. <laughs> there we go. Didn't take her long. Yeah, she's a pretty nice girl there. Alright, now for some Brachypalmus now. So this is my largest uh, curly hair. Curly Sue. She's old, also the oldest. There she goes, there. Yeah, she attacked it. Nice. Alright, let's try my Brachypalma erratum, the Mexican flame knee. Uh, this one here is uh, Claire, I think. i try the other one too. Gotta love your BR Rodham. That one was sweet. Let's see, this one will eat.
And Crooked's the right size for her. So I think she's just scared. Oh yeah, she is. Well, that was sure the best attack of this feeding video. Hopefully the others can match that speed. <laughs> Pretty fast for Iraqi Palma. So cute though. Alright, hopefully another Bracky that's going to hit pretty hard. So this is my Bracky Palma Emilia, the Mexican Painted. Yeah, there she goes. Alright, so now let's try a Baboon. It's the Saratajaris Marshali, the Straight Horn Baboon. It will be the next Mythbuster video that I do. So this is Marsha, 5 inch female. Ooh, nice. You could probably hear that uh, stridulation going on there. Let's go look at that horn. Yeah, that's why they call it the straight horn baboon. Cool. Alright, Chromatopalma cyanopubescens, green bottle blue mature female, Valencia. I think that was an attack. I guess not hungry. Alright, here is Larry, Cyclosturdum Schmarde, the yellow banded bird eater. Wow. Way down in the hole, you could probably see the heart shaped abdomen, is my Cirrocosmus elegans. This is uh, Shannon. Yeah, I just missed attack, but yeah, she got it. I just love the triangle on the carapace resembles very similar to the um, Briacopelum Amelia, the painted red leg. Oh wow, she must have molted. Uh, this is Lucy, Siri Cosmos Perez Melesi, Bolivian Dwarf. Unfortunately my other one passed away from a bad molt, so uh, hopefully he's hungry. Oh, awesome. I just love these dwarfs. <laughs> Ah, oh, so that's why my Emiranus would never eat in front of the camera. She just molted. Wow, it's the second molt in my care. After owning it, I remember I got the first transaction from her actor boards from Cayman, from Conrad, and yeah, she's awesome. I uh, don't think I'm going to feed her now, but cool. I know it's a female, so assuming now she's probably around four and a half inches. Yeah, it's a good guess. Cool. Yeah, I was going to attempt to feed her, but <laughs> as you can see, her fangs are just completely not hardened enough. You can see they're cherry red, so... Yeah, not in a good mood. Yeah, that's her typical Iphobus Marinus temperament. <laughs> if anyone wants to get into crazy teas that love to web a lot, but also like to burrow... Don't pass up on this one. Alright. Ah, but she got huge though. Yeah, you could see their prominent urticating hairs on uh, the, pep the pops. That's where they are, not on the abdomen. Anyways, let's try another Ophoopus of mine. This one here is a Rufescence Burgundy Skeleton for an A. It's got a good sized cricket in there. Oh yes. Nice. Alright, let's try a Eupalastrus uh, Camper Stratus, the pink zebra beauty.
Oh, there she goes. You can see the prominent, very thick hind legs, which is characteristic of uh, this genus. Again, one of the best beginner species available. I'll be making a Mythbuster video soon on this species, so, so with that Mythbuster video, you'll know pretty much anything you need to know about it. Well, Peach likes to interior decorate. You can see the water dish used to be here, now it's all the way back there. Uh, usually teas will do that for just unknown reasons. I guess she doesn't like water. Anyway, so let's try feeding her and see how well she eats. Grandma Sola pull stripes. Chocolate gold me. Nice. Like my other three would not eat in front of the camera. I don't think uh, Wendy is very hungry. I think she's going to go into pre molt hopefully soon. But there we go. Alright, this is possibly the hungriest G. Rosea that you're ever going to find. Italia G. Rosea, the rose hair. See if she's going to eat it. Yeah, possibly so. It's the first time I actually see her refuse food. Hopefully she's in pre-molt, so, um... Oh, no, spoke too soon. She got it. <laughs> Alright, this is a Gramasol Rosea red form. Bloom. Oh, she's gonna attack, you know, she's very hungry, this one. I remember her... When I got her as a sling, she would never eat. And <laughs> just look at her now. She's like the mean killing G. Rosea machine. Alright, Hapopama Lividum, Cobalt Blue. Uh, no, I guess not. Let's give you an update again on her. She's beautiful. Alright, let's try to feed this one. You can see why I really don't like the Hapopalmas, because they're not visible. Here's a well-established Alyssa, 3-inch female Hapopalma Minax, the Thailand Black. Oh, I'm going to bring it into the hole. Yep, there we go. That was just as quick as you would like to believe. Yeah, anyways, don't want to disturb her, but you can see got a layer of uh, moist eco earth on top of dry, and she burrowed down, and she's happy. All right, here's a uh, Holotheli Incy, the Trinidad Olive, named Abby. So I don't know which hole she is in. Oh, she's right there. Um, yeah, there she goes, yep, got it. Alright, let's try this one, Lassidora difficilis, the Brazilian fire bird eater. I have an half inch female named Dora. Oh, perfect. I haven't seen an attack from a while since I last fed the uh, Holotheli in C. Oh, that's a great one, nice tea, big one too. Alright, Lassidora Klugi, the Bahia Scarlet Bird Eater. This is uh, Nikroth. Uh, one and a half inch unsexed. Ooh, nice. Let's see if we did the second one. <laughs> what a pig. Well, that's those Lassidoras for you. Hungry eaters. Now for some Lassiodora para hibana now, salmon pink bird ear. So this is the largest female that I have, Daisy. Yeah, she got that one. I like how the hairs spike up on her abdomen. Nice gold girl. Well, not old, half grown, really. Alright, here's Daniela. She's another LP female. 
This one's the second youngest. <laughs> yeah. And here's Goma, she's the youngest female, also an LP. Yeah, just like her typical uh, Lacedoras, they love to eat. Alright, to Rep T09, uh, this is the largest LP that I have. Uh, Lawrence, around a 6 inch male. Yeah, my guess he's not hungry, but uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to see, and here it is. Biggest LP that I have. Alright, so this is Linotheli Uh the Diplorid. I'm just going to get the cricket. Ah, there we go. Nice. Yeah, I think it's called a funnel web. If I'm not mistaken, but... <laughs> she's very beautiful. This is the one with the cool size spinnerets. As you can see right over here. Amazing. She freshly molted like a couple of weeks ago. So uh, she's probably around uh, two and a half inches now. I think it looks female, but I really can't decide. Aren't that cool? All right, so I'm not going to feed my Megafibuma robustum, the Colombian giant red leg. Uh, she's in a ridiculous predicament here. She's like on really handstand right now. Uh, she just freshly molted. And I'll see if I can try to sex her. <laughs> she's like, she's literally upside down, so I'm not going to disturb her anymore. Anyways, that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to call him George, because uh, it's a male. <clears throat> you can see, if it would have had a flap, it would have been right over here. In this case, uh, we don't see it, so... Uh-oh. See if we can try to find a female. If I can find one, they're pretty hard to find. Alright, let's go look at my Nondochromatis. And you can tell... The dark patch right here, so... No change yet. So this is a perfect example of why you cannot rely on ventral sexing too much. Even though it looks like... She's got a presence of epigastric furrow. See that little slit, but you can tell by the upside down U shape right in between the first two pair of buck lungs. And this confirms it when you look at the molt. So you see that there's no flap right here, so it indicates it's a male. So that's why we cannot always rely on ventral sexing to correctly sex your T. Alright, so now let's go on to my Nandu Tripepi and see how well she, oh, I mean, he eats. Alright, Nandu Tripepi, Darius. John Sharvey Blonde Bird Eater. Awesome. Alright, here's Ophelia, Orthonoctinus oritabalius, the Thailand Fringe. She got that one. Here's a mature female Pamphibedius antinus, the steely blue leg from Bolivia. Her name is Jade. Nice. First time I actually got her in front of the camera eating. Alright, immature male Pamphibedius platyama, the pink bloom bird eater. Oh, this is going to be fun. For Mictopus cancerides, the Haitian brown bird eater. Wow. So, if you, everyone's following the feeding schedule now, so we are two hours into this feeding video. We still have all the pokies left to feed, all the Samopoas, uh, the S. Crassy peeps, the baboons, uh, all the tappies, including the new ones. 
the Eximanus and the T. Sturmi pair. Alright, so this is P. fasciata, male, Sri Lankan ornamental. <laughs> that was awesome. Right, let's try a little Mia, P. Metallica. Oh, she slammed that one. Alright, this is uh, Pocothera Ornata, the fringed ornamental. That was fast. Alright, this is Joelle. She's a mature female, P. Ornata. <laughs> there we go. Nice. You can see the yellow warning legs that she has. She lost one palp, but... She may have lost one palp, but that doesn't stop her from taking down superworms with extraordinary pokey speed. Hey, right, Pocotheria Pedersenii, the ghost ornamental, suspect male. Ooh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Or it might be a suspect female, I'm not sure. But his colors are pretty faded. Here's uh, Sephora, Pocothera rufolata, red slate ornamental. About a two inch sling, molted a couple of weeks ago. So I'll see she's hungry. About two and a half inches right now. There we go. Alright, this is the one named Darcy. Uh, Pocothera striata, my sort ornamental. This one might be a suspect male, but I haven't have a mold to confirm that. So let's see how well uh, she eats. Yeah, there we go. Alright, mature female Salmopoas Camerdry turned at Chevron. I'm going to be attempting to breed on Saturday night, so I'll be feeding heavily her and see how well the second pairing attempt goes. Ooh, if I had that male there, she probably would instantly kill him. Huh, we haven't seen this one in the longest time. Uh, this is Salino Cosmina species, the jumbo female. The one that produces the false egg sacs, which I haven't seen yet. So, uh, this is Eva. Ooh, she's not happy. There we go. That is one big female. Hopefully when she molts, I think she's going to have a black color to her. Just like that, Antinous. Nice. Alright, Tapanikinius gigas, the orange tree spider. This is the mature female named Barb. Around four inches. Yeah. She wasn't as fast as the previous one, but no matter, hopefully we can trust all the eight ones to uh, eat. Uh, she's an orange ball of fury very fast can be very defensive too from French Guiana some tea geeky slings so the first one didn't want to eat let's we'll see if the second one will go there we go that was fast Number four. Yeah. At number five. Beautiful. Number six.
Number seven. And the last one, number eight. Beautiful. Six out of eight isn't too bad. Not as good as the other one, but heck, I'm happy. Alright, so now I'm going to feed this one now. Tapanikinius uh, Sancti Vincenti, the St. Vincent's tree spider. That was sweet. <laughs> good old tappies. That's why I like them. That's why I'm going to get myself a uh, Valsios and uh, Subcarolus very soon. Alright, got to change battery now. Alright, mature female Theraphosa Sturmi, Burgundy Goliath Bird Eater. Hopefully gravid. Ooh, nice. Pupated Superworm. Just gonna give her one more. Oh, I guess not hungry. And the last one we'll do is uh, Sinitha Simanus, the Lesser Black. Genesis. Alright, so now we'll include a little short clip of Maggie in here. He's an awesome dog. Hey. <laughs> She's cute. Hey, girl. So the whole feeding video took around three hours to make. So I do hope you enjoy it. Possibly the best attacks that I've seen are from the B. Aratum and the P. Fasciata. As well as those T. Gigas slings. And also Sancti Vincenti too. Kind of biased about those, but hey. Not a bad feeding video. So on the weekend, I will be posting the monthly tour video of all the 116 uh, teas that I have. So you'll know exactly what I keep and uh, what I don't have and what I used to have. So hopefully uh, this video is enjoyable, and hope you guys liked it. Alright, so uh, see you guys, and uh, hopefully we'll see you soon.